Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixed Box View. Today, we're on something a little different, as you can tell by the first person, uh, first person look here. We're on much electric scooter in MX Bikes. Uh, I saw this on the MXB Mods page in like a, it was like a pack of a few bikes. If you want, I'll leave a link down below, you guys. And uh, I was like, dude, there's no way this is actually scooter and bikes, bro. And I loaded it up. And what do we have here is an actual electric scooter and bikes, dude. This thing's insane. So we're gonna we're on a big compound today, actually. I think we're on. Uh, so we're gonna be doing a little bit of riffing on everything today. We got enduro, we got freaking hill climbs, we got FMX. So stay tuned, you guys. We're gonna try to test this thing out on all the elements here. And I almost landed that. So the issue is I'm not the best first third person rider, and um, the first person it doesn't look the best. You know what I mean? So as you guys can tell here, but dude, I wonder if that like. That looks like the thing in the middle right there it seems to be like a um, kind of like a battery thing that tells you how full or low your battery is. I wonder if that actually works. I would assume it probably does not, but I don't know. Can I get over this? Oh, I think, yeah, by the way, you guys, I think it said this is a 125cc electric scooter. I think it said 125cc. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, dude, this is actually, it's also called a Suron. So it's like a mix between a Suron and a scooter, which is pretty freaking cool here. Oh my god, holy hell, the back end traction, dude. Okay, yeah, one thing I noticed about this bike, I don't know what it is, but the back end traction is not the best, as you guys can tell here, as we just... <laughs> oh my god, bro, I don't think we're going to be able to make this hill climb. Okay, well, since we can't make the hill climb, I don't think. Let me try it in first person real quick here. Oh, so freaking close in first person, dude. But I'm going to take this thing to the Enduro Cross track, which is what we're going to head to right now. And I really want to freaking see how this thing does on Enduro Cross. And I forgot the fences are collidables, dude. Rip, bro. The game's broken. I don't even know how this is in MX Bikes, bro. Legit scooter. What in the hell, dude? This is crazy. Ah, nah. Okay, bro. That's not. Oh! Yeah, that's rip health, buddy. All right. Where the hell's the Enduro Cross track at again? Okay, it's right here, actually. Sweet. All by these logs right here. All right. See if we can't uh, rip it up here and do a lap on this thing. I want to do a... Dude. This is... Okay. Starting on a hill with this scooter, it, it it gets pissed, bro. You lose... Oh, God. Look at my bike. Just wiggling. Oh, rip. All right. Let's see how it does over some logs. Oh. You guys, as bad as first person does look, I think we're going to have to do it for this one here because um, there ain't no way I'm going to be able to do this stuff in third person, so... We're going to have to do this in first person here. If we can get turned around here. Hold on here. All right. Bruh. Wait. Okay, dude. Hold on. What's going on here, buddy? Can I not? Hold on. The scooter's pissed, bruh. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to have to go around the outside here for this one here. <laughs> hey, we made it. Kind of. Not really. Dude, this is hard. This scooter is actually really hard to ride. Oh, my God. So I, I have no clutch on this thing, obviously, or anything. So I can't really, like... I, I can't really get the front end off the ground. When I try to, like, pull back like that, uh, it doesn't have seem to have enough power to get the front end off the ground. Check it out, you guys. See? It just, like, spins out. So the Enduro is also extremely hard for this thing, man. I think... Let me know if you guys like to see a game of bike on this little freaking scooter, bro. I feel like it'd pretty, be pretty freaking fun. But, uh, dude, this... What the hell? Can we make... We should be able to make it over a tire. Yeah, okay. I actually hit that a little too fast there. So it seems like the tires aren't too bad um, on this Enduro course. It's just the logs this bike does not like here. Okay. Let's go around the outside here so we can go up the hill without swapping out, hopefully, bro. Oh, God. Up over a log. Oh, we actually made it over that one. Perfect. Okay, hold on here. Up over the tires. Oh, thing ripped up on me, bro. We're not doing half bad here, actually. We're starting to actually, you know, for a scooter on an Enduro course hitting some of this stuff, we're actually starting to get it over some of this stuff here. Okay, as we uh, proceed to die. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, bro. Oh, no, dude. The scooter. Let's try this last section. Screw it, bro. With all these little logs here. I think it was just the logs off the face is what gave, uh, gave it trouble here because I don't think these are going to be that hard, but we'll see. So, yeah, I know. These aren't horribly hard at all, actually. We made it over that one with pretty much ease. It's just those other ones to the right of us there that are a bit of a pain here. And the sad thing that sucks here is we caught a bad run, so we didn't get to double over this thing. So now we're kind of in a bad spot here to try to get over this next one here. Okay, rip me, buddy. I'm going to turn around, actually, and probably just try to double that because I don't think this little scooter is going to be able to make it over that from right there. So let's go ahead and 
Try to double it. There we go. Come on! No! We doubled the first one on this freaking scooter, bruh. We almost made the second one, but we did not. Let's give that a try in third person, dude. So this is the standing, by the way, you guys. This is the sitting. Kid's just sitting on air. Holy hell. I don't know if it's because I'm so meeks at the game in third person, but it is hard to ride in third person, dude. It's like my traction feels way gone in third person, but let's go back at first here. Um, let's take this thing on a super cross track. So we've done a hill climb. We've done some, uh, some enduro, bro. Let's take it on the super cross track. Oh, no. The fence is, bro. I completely forgot. It says in the name it's a Saron, but then at the same time, it says it's a scooter, bro. So I, I don't know if I would consider it a Saron, but for a scooter, you know, this thing is a big bonk. So, you know, nothing surprising there. Oh, my God. All right. Let's rip down the straight as we swap out, bro, around the outside here. This is doubling. Okay, we actually could have made that triple. What the hell? No way, bruh. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to make it up this. But, you know, I could just be wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just how it's made. Maybe it's because it has so much torque. I don't know. But the other Surons have way more torque than this bike, it feels like. And they don't lose traction like this at all. I mean, the Super Suron Supermoto does on dirt, but that's expected. But once you get going, it really doesn't lose traction. It can go uphill pretty good on it. But this thing seems to struggle a little bit on the uphill section of stuff. All right, we're around this outside here. Oh, rip traction. We're not making the double. Oh! So I thought we are going to make the double, but, uh, dude, through the whoops on the scooter. Oh, my God, dude. This thing's insane, bro. All right, we made it through the whoops on the scooter. Double. Oh, no. We did not have enough speed coming out of the corner there. Coming out of corners, it is very slick on this thing, bro. Very slick. All right, around the outside through here. Okay, I went for the triple, but we did not make it. Suspension, you know, doesn't seem half bad, dude, on this little scooter, electric, Suron, mix of all sorts of bikes. Um, over this little triple right here. There we go. Ugh. Damn, bro, that's a booter. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys, this bike is freaking crazy looking, dude. It's so much fun to ride, though, at the same time. It's so clapped, but it's so fun, dude. I don't even know how we have a scooter. How do models like this in MX bikes get, uh, get created? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Same with some of the tracks. Like, how the hell does a skate park get built in MX bikes? I don't understand how that works. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's freaking sick, but I don't even know how the hell that begins to start to happen. All right. So, there's no way we're going to make that double, bro. So, so, my recommendations for this bike, if you get this thing... Uh, you could use it on the track, but it might be a bit sketch, bro. I'd recommend using this thing for, like, free ride type stuff, man. Like, I don't know how it would do. I'm going to take this to the skate park real quick, you guys, actually. Dude, this thing rips up on here. Send him. Oh, my front end just checked out, bro. That was uh, not what I was trying to do. Um, let's see if we can hit a jump on the skate park, though, dude. Screw it. I want to try to. This thing rips up on here so freaking good. Holy hell. It's fast, too, dude. Holy hell. Okay. Let's turn ourselves around here. So, like I suspected, the battery thing doesn't seem to be working. Even when I was playing in the last uh, last track, I forgot to mention that here. Bro, we greased that double. We turn around. Oh, front end swapped a little bit right there. Dang it. I was hoping to, like, ride up on that and turn around. Bro, that would have been freaking sick. All right. And then up on this tabletop, there's not much quite up here really just to jump off. Can we land that? Oh, suspension's pissed, bro. No. All right. Now that we're at the skate park here, I wanted to try something real quick. Oh, dude, you can get it in a wheelie. That's okay. So I want to try to do a little bit of a wheelie here. See how far we can go on this little scooter. Oh, God. Okay, okay. So, okay. This is going to be a little difficult here. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, dude, it's so touchy. Come on. No! It's definitely a lot. The new OEMs, I feel like, are really, uh, really hard. Sorry. Really easy to wheelie for a long time, especially the two strokes. So... Hold on here. Hold on. We're not doing bad. No, that wasn't bad. But what I was saying was is the new OEM two strokes feel like they're way really easy to wheelie and throw backflips on and stuff, which is awesome. Oh, dude. This thing actually wheelies really good, though, too. I just it's really touchy, dude. Like really touchy. Come on. This is a good one, actually. No! But you guys, I think that's going to be a wrap on today's video. Checking out this Saron, man. This thing, it's sick. I definitely recommend checking it out. And it does really good on the skate park, surprisingly. So, 
Super cool. And also, just a really cool, unique bike and bikes, man. It's freaking sick. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Even if you just watch the videos, it means a ton. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you guys. No way we land this, bro. In the next video, boys. Oh.